đất nước của bạn đấy thì là bạn ăn uh, con bà ăn thì con bò này đúng không ăn thịt con gà này đấy thì là cũng giống như ở Việt Nam thì người ta có một uh, một món ăn đó là ăn chó high in protein and considered the healthy alternative to chicken and pork dog meat is widely eaten in Vietnam said to increase a man's libido and warm the blood on cold rainy nights But a thriving black market means that these lads could actually be tucking into someone's beloved pet. Đây là đồ. Cổ cổ cổ. Chỉ bị vớt đây. Vớt cổ cổ. Xong lên 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 lên. Lên 15 mét xong rồi bốc lên cho trong lòng. How many dogs do you think you've stolen since she started? Nó rơi 7 năm nay, 7 năm nay bắt được khoảng as Vietnam's economy has gone into overdrive, so has the demand for dog meat. Suppliers can't keep up, creating a perfect opportunity for dog thieves to make money fast, raiding family homes for pets and guard dogs which can be fattened up and sold for slaughter. There are no animal welfare laws and no regulation of the dog meat trade, so there's no way of telling if a dog has been stolen. Stealing a dog doesn't attract a prison sentence, so the reward far outweighs the risk. <coughs> Dog owners are left to take the law into their own hands. And the dog thieves respond in kind, armed with homemade weapons. So you would actually kill someone over a dog? Dog lover Bao Lao was just 18 years old when he was killed by dog thieves who had repeatedly targeted his village. Nó thường chó. Nó tức, thanh niên nó tức. Tức là nó nó phải làm à. Tại vì con chó này là nó cũng như là nó cũng như là một con người vậy thôi. With dog theft provoking violence on all sides, the Vietnamese are starting to talk about the problems in the dog meat trade. But without the introduction of laws against animal cruelty and real penalties for dog thieves, the violence is set to continue. <laughs>